What's going on YouTube, Fezify Media, a few updates for you guys. So recently I made a video about a guy who was seeing a boy but had a girlfriend and a boy threatened to tell his girlfriend and then he set him up and killed him. And I said I'll update you guys on his sentence and it looks like he has been sentenced. It said the teenage boy was a millionaire farmer's son and now he's been sentenced to life for murdering his 15 year old lover in a ferocious and merciless attack to stop the schoolboy exposing their sexual affair to his girlfriend. Matthew Mason, 20, will serve a minimum of 28 years in prison after he was convicted of premeditated murder of a 15 year old Alex at Chester Crown Court earlier this month. Mason who was 18 at the time had been involved in an intimate sexual relationship with Alex but in chilling messages revealed during the trial the 15 year old allegedly threatened to expose their affair after finding out Mason had been dating a girl for two years the court heard. In a week before the murder Mason made internet searches for phrases what would happen if you kick someone down the stairs everyday poison and the mysteries of Cheshire unsolved deaths of missing people so it looks like he was planning this for a while so after getting ideas on the internet maybe planning on kicking downstairs maybe planning on poisoning him and then looking at how other people have got away with murders in his area he actually went through with it and it was said that alex's body was found with at least 15 blows to the head the 20 year old had used a heavy long wretch to repeatedly beat the 15 year old alex to the head and body with estimated 15 separate blows causing fatal injuries mason dragged alex's body to the track at the side of the road in an attempt to put him inside the car after failing he drove away Mason had dry blood on his hands and inside his car was a bin bag with blood-stained green fleece the wrench and Alex's large padded jacket during a court case Mason admitted hitting Alex with the wrench but denied murder arguing he had acted in self-defense and that he had lost control after being provoked Mason told the court he did not believe his friends would accept him if he was gay or bisexual at first he was trying to cover up with money by the time of Alex's death Mason had transferred more than 2,200 pound and was asking friends and family to borrow more money the court heard Mason who lived on his family farm near Nutsford admitted having sex with Alex but said he thought it was wrong the judge said Mason was a selfish individual who had deliberately chosen to use a devastating weapon in a secret spot in a woods outside Ashley on December the 12th, 2019. He said that Mason, who was older and more emotionally mature than his victim, had groomed and encouraged the relationship by sending him explicit pictures and video. This was carefully planned and ruthlessly carried out, showing no empathy and disregard for Alex, his family and friends. The judge told Mason he was sentenced to life in prison. I just want to say a huge rest in peace to the victim, Alex, who lost his life way too soon. A youngster engaged in a petty situation that could have been avoided, this relationship, and the fear of being exposed on social media. It's just a crazy generation we live in nowadays. If you want to see more crime stories and crime updates, hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell. And of course, I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace out.